This evening in the studio is Dr. Michael Cox, director of the O'Neill Center for Global Markets and Freedom at SMU's Cox School of Business. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, Jane. You know a lot about this subject. First of all, let's talk about Governor Perry's chances from an economic standpoint. He's written a book and talked about his opposition mm -hmm. to the federal income tax. Is that something Americans could get behind, or is that just talk? Absolutely. It's a fantastic idea. Income taxes punish working. They punish making income. Who wants to do that? Why should, why, you should, why should you have a tax which slows the economy down? If you switch it into a consumption tax, then you're not really punishing making income, you're punishing spending it, and then you're rewarding saving it. Right now, everything about the tax system is wrong. And by consumption tax, you mean sales it's tax? sales tax, right. Is that something yeah. that uh, the governor has proposed instead of the federal yes, income tax? Because the money has to come from Absolutely. somewhere Absolutely. if you're going to continue to have all of these programs. That's right. And that's my second question. If you're not going to have as much tax money coming in, how is he going to get people to cut spending? Well, we, you know, we could first cut everything across the board. What they could do would be, we're going to have to cut entitlements because they've grown to 66% of the budget mm -hmm. now. It's just automatic stuff that keeps happening no matter what. That's a formula for failure. You know, you can't keep an economy going like that when you're just going to spend, spend, spend no matter what. We need to cut spending, first of all. But if you think about what the income tax rate does, it punishes all good decision making. The number one reason why income varies across the country right now, across individuals, is their amount of education. People who have a lot high education make a high income. Do you want to discourage education? Do you want to reward not getting education? What we, the reason the economy is slow is that the government has not attended to incentives. Incentives to start a business, hire people, get a job, work hard, save your money, invest, invent, innovate, and engage in productive risk-taking. If you do all those things and you make income, you're punished with taxes. Okay, we have a full screen that we want to go to right now uh, that has to do with the economy as a platform. And as we look at this, we'll look at job growth. Would you speak to this for a minute? Yes. Okay, so, so during the period from 1990 to 2010, Texas added more jobs than the entire rest of the nation combined. Want to know why? We did a study to find out why, and it's because we have low taxes. We're one of seven states which has no income tax. It's because we're a very low unionized state. Unions in this state only represent about 6.5% of the labor force. They're 27.5% in New York. It's because also we have small government growth compared to other states. Uh, so, what, And we have very small, almost no corporate income tax rate. These are, and we're, Texas has added a lot of people who want to come here to escape a, a crazy legal system. We've had tort reform. We have loser pays now. Doctors are moving here. So it's a very pro-business state and business-friendly state. And so it's a state where you can come, get a job, and through self-determination, choose to make work hard and make a better life for your family. And that's what people want. Okay, we're going to talk more about the economy in just a minute. 